part. Two. Now make it. Hey guys, welcome back to Art 2. Today we are talking about fan art and the do's and don'ts of selling fan art on Redbubble or other print-on-demand websites. But a lot of you have been asking if it is something that can be uh, created to be sold on sites like Redbubble. So we're going to go into the terms and conditions and all that kind of stuff of the Redbubble website and what they consider uh, acceptable or not acceptable. But first let's take a look at some fan art and show you guys what we're talking about. Okay guys, so I did a quick search for Batman to see what kind of fan art would pop up on Redbubble. Now as you can see some people use the Batman logo on the mask, uh, there's a t-shirt there, and the logo is owned by DC Comics or if it's in the movies, uh, Warner Brothers, uh, they have the right to distribute merchandise with that product. They are the rights holder for the Batman uh, character and all associated art that goes along with that character. So if you just throw your Batman logo on a product on Redbubble, most likely you are breaking copyright laws and infringing on someone else's rights. So I'm going to explain how some people uh, are able to sell things on Redbubble or other websites with uh, product logos and things along those lines and not get in trouble and how some people will get in trouble. Another thing I saw was this uh, t-shirt that says Bat and Robin. So this is something that you could probably get away with because it's uh, created in fun. It's not really uh, based on the design of Batman so they looked a little bit different and you can see that there was a bit of a difference uh, and it was kind of a fun thing that someone created. Now I typed in Spider-Man and again you can see there's a lot of infringement on the Spider-Man character here. There's actually um, stickers here with the actors. So how do they get around putting this on Redbubble? And we're gonna get into that. As you can see there's a Spider-Man bedspread. Uh, there's a lot of infringement on the Spider-Man um, character there. Now I typed in Mickey Mouse and here I saw people getting around the Disney Mickey Mouse thing by not actually creating Mickey Mouse or drawing Mickey Mouse as he normally looks but creating off uh, like this here the splatter Mickey Mouse that you can see. It's Mickey Mouse but it's not Mickey Mouse you know what I mean? So they're getting away with creating something that you're familiar with but that doesn't really infringe on the copyright holder. And depending on how you promote it on Redbubble, so they say mouse acrylic block. They didn't say Mickey Mouse. So in the tags, it must be tagged as Mickey Mouse and that's how people are finding it. But they haven't said it in the title. So they haven't uh, expressed that this is Mickey Mouse and they made it look very different. When I went to look for Star Trek, there are some fan art uh, pieces here that are, you know, I'm not sure if William Shatner wants to be on this merchandise. Uh, is he getting a cut of royalties for his image being on this product? So how are people getting around these art pieces, uh, fan art, uh, without breaking copyright laws? So hey guys, there is some good news if you want to upload fan art to Redbubble. They have a partner program. What that means is that if you are creating fan art based on any of the brands that have given Redbubble permission to do so, then you can upload your art and if it's found in the Redbubble website, you're going to split the profit basically with Redbubble, the brand and yourself. So the royalty is going to get split by you and the brand and then Redbubble collects whatever amount of money they need to cover the cost of the item that they're manufacturing. Uh, so this is a huge list of companies that will work with Redbubble and allow you to create characters based on their intellectual property. So if you go through the list, I'm sure you can find something to work with. Uh, I mean, it's worth giving it a shot because these are characters that are recognized and that people are looking for. So if you get approved for this program and you upload art based on those characters, there's a good chance that you will be selling more uh, items than with your non-branded items. So you have the power of a brand when you create fan art. So all you need to do is uh, 
follow the rules and the terms for the partner program, uh, then once you've created an item uh, or a piece of art, you upload it, tag it appropriately, and Redbubble will find it. And if it's approved to be in the marketplace, then it gets to go live. And then you will start to get sales based on that fan art. So don't create fan art that's not on the list because you have a chance that, yes, you're going to make some money, you might make some sales, but you also might have uh, the copyright notice sent to you saying that this needs to be taken down. And if there's enough of them sent to Redbubble for your art to be taken down, at some point they will probably lock you out of your account and you'll be banned from the platform. So you don't want to be in that situation where you're going to lose the privilege of selling on Redbubble uh, over a few bucks here and there. So get on the partner program, follow the terms and conditions on that program, create art based on the brands that are on the list and approved by Redbubble, and you should have no problem selling fan art on Redbubble. I mean, if you're a skilled artist, it doesn't really matter if you can draw Batman or one of the other characters on the list. Why not draw the ones that are on the list and have a better chance of making money because you know you're not going to be in trouble with the platform. So I hope that this helps you guys figure out fan art and how to sell it legally online. And Redbubble is not the only one that uh, offers this type of program. If you go on Design by Humans, they also have a program that will allow you to sell branded fan art on their website once you've been approved for that program. So take a look at it see what it uh, you know what the requirements might be and if you can follow the rules then that's an extra source of income that you will have through your Redbubble store and your sales will increase based on this being a branded item so I hope that helps and if you guys like this type of content don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you know when the next video goes up and if you hit the like button it does help us get found in the YouTube algorithm and we really appreciate that so I hope that you guys enjoy this type of content keep coming back for more print on demand uh, tips and tricks red bubble society six we're doing a whole bunch of videos that you guys will be uh, probably wanting to learn more about those other platforms and they're coming soon so don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one.